Welcome back. When most of us think of weddings, we like to think big, but sometimes the most poignant memory can be that of the day, something very small, very, very small. Today on Only in Indiana, Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Rader and photographer John Duong show us an excellent example called Miniature Memories. When most of us think of big dreams about big days, we usually don't sweat the little things. It's a very southern kind of bell look. But I added color infusion to it. But, but Peggy Latta does. But the big puff sleeve really embellished beadwork. But on the train, it was open cut work. She could look at a wedding dress and tell you exactly when it was popular. And you'll get a very sleek trim line today, a simple modest A-line, strapless again, with a gorgeous back. So Not all the beads. No, they don't always have beads in them. It's not at all unusual to see her undergoing a kind of dress rehearsal in the back office of her Westfield home, working just to get it right. That's when I know I have really captured the dress. When you look at the photo and go, oh, that's a dress on a dress mm -hmm. form. Oh, wait, that's a miniature. About 11 inches tall, to be exact. It all started when she made the first one for a friend's silver anniversary. People looked at it and said, wow. And a career was stitched. You see, most wedding gowns are packed away, rarely to be seen again. But these? This is so convenient, and it looks exactly like my real wedding dress and the bouquet that I had on the wedding day. Molly Cameron wanted to be able to see her wedding dress every day. She wanted to remember that day in Sedona, Arizona, and she wanted to share it with her daughter. But when you look at a flat photo, you don't get the, the dimension of the dress, so um, it's better than looking at photos. I have um, shipped to Australia and England, and I have a couple going to Saudi Arabia here pretty soon. Peggy specializes in the bouquet. Um, those peacock feathers are actually paper and fabric hand painted. There is only one thing that she won't do. I don't do heads, no Barbie heads, because um, I want the focus to be the dress and the flowers. That's what my art is about. <laughs> Her mom taught her how to hand stitch. They think I use like these little miniature teeny tiny needles, but these are all my working needles. And Vivian taught her how to use a sewing machine. But if need be, she could always fall back to... The sewing tool, known as the reverse sewing machine, the ripper. Oh. <laughs> the ripper. The reverse. Always valuable. Now she's crafting a dress for a female professional golfer, and there's also the contract with Georgia's Miss America representative. You know so this gown will have lots of beading on it. With a staff of one, she always keeps busy shopping for materials, updating her website, and taking orders off the internet. As the sign says, she believes she could, and so she did. She's given all brides the opportunity to remember that day, every day. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Very cool. If you want to see more of Peggy's work, her website is called Heirloom Textile Art. And if you have an only in Indiana story idea you'd like to share, you can send it to Kevin at krader at wthr.com.